Hello everyone, as always hoping you're doing great and being safe at home. Today as you notice we are in a totally different place. We moved from our little rooftop, we're quite sad about it. But we're gonna be fine because we're gonna start moving to different places and start recording from places that you're gonna see soon and it's gonna be really cool. Today I have something really simple for you, it's a snack, really typical in Peru and I'm talking about pequeño. Based on different stories, the Tequeños are originally from Venezuela. But I can tell this is one of the most common and what is it? Popular snacks in Peru. <laughs> First of all, let's go with ingredients. The beer is for the one that makes it again. So you have to take a sip every two minutes or so. I'm gonna start with the cheese. I got here. I'm gonna use this smaller part for it. The smaller is gonna be better to mix these two kinds of cheese as well with any other ingredient. Hold on, okay? Vaya para allá. Muy bien. Here I have some ham, it can be any of them. You can cut this in stripes really thin. I want to make little cubes so we can fit it better inside our tequeño. This is our mix and now I'm gonna take my wonton noodles. You can find it bigger, you can find it in circles, and there are many ways you can grab it. I'm gonna show you now. So I'm gonna open. So I have here my egg. You can or scramble or use it like this. We're gonna use our fingers. So now it's time to get our hands dirty and make our tequeños. We're gonna pass the egg we have here on the border to seal this. As you pass the egg inside, now you have to just seal it, and this is it. It's very simple. If we don't close this really well, the cheese is gonna get out of the Kenya when it's uh, the hard boil, and it's gonna get messy, and we want the cheese inside. <laughs> we don't want to waste any of this. So I have here some tequeños made of just ham and cheese. But now I want to make another one with champignons and cheese. So for that, we have to salty the mushrooms first, the champignons, mushrooms, or whatever you're using. After that, I'm just gonna put here my mushrooms and I will mix this really well. While we wait until the oil gets hot enough to fry our tequeños, we're gonna make our guacamole sauce. And this is how we do it. We can put it just in the bowl, but to make it easier, I will just cut it and put it in this little bowl here. We're just gonna use a fork for this and we're gonna press all our avocado right now. I am gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. <laughs> Make sure it's not windy because <laughs> the salt is gonna go out. And now let's go to add the other two ingredients that I love with this, which are onion, red onion, In case of tomato, I'm gonna take the oil inside out. Cheese the seeds and the heart. I don't really like it here. There's the juice that has a lot of flavor. You can use a colander and, and use it for whatever you want, but the seeds are not that good to use them. So let's get rid of them. There's one more thing to add, really important, of course, key lime and nothing like key lime from Peru. When I squeeze it always I make sure I don't press all the lime. I don't want the bitter flavor of this on any of my preparation. This is ready. You try and you check if you need more salt, pepper, etc. Here we have ready our oil. It doesn't take that long for tequeños. We have to be aware of them because they get this golden color really fast. Don't leave it there for too long. If the oil is not hot enough, this is not gonna get that nice color. And if it's too hot, this is gonna get too brown. I mean, more than me. 
but in just seconds and it's not gonna be enough time for melting the cheese after we take this out we let the oil get hot again for around half a minute or so and then we can add more of our tagines okay everyone so this is the result as i told you and as i mentioned before it's really easy to make this is the tequeño and this is the guacamole we have on site mm. Mm. <laughs> it's really good you're gonna get addicted to this i promise that this is delicious and always try to eat it as fast as you make it because it's still warm and the cheese is melted if you get let it get cold it's not gonna be the same and this one here, it's uh, gluten-free tequeños that I didn't use any kind of bread or noodle outside. I just used some corn flour. I press the cheese, as you saw before, first, and then I pass it around the flour, and then I just deep fry, as simple as that. So, try this too, it's delicious. Mmm. Everyone, snacks are ready! <laughs> Yes, guys.